So man, these readings really have current events written all over them. Jeremiah says that he hears terrors on every side. My ex-friends watch for any misstep of mine. Lord, rescue me from the power of the wicked. And then Jesus says, fear no one. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. So this is the world today, as far as I'm concerned. Terror on every side, people just watching for others to slip up. And Christ's advice is basic, but it's true. Do not give in to fear. Speak the truth boldly when you can, and know in your soul that if you remain true to Christ in this crazy world, he will stand by you in the kingdom of God. So Father Mike Irwin, our, uh, our neighbor up in Beaver Dam, he phrased it really well. I think it was a Blue, Blue Zones group meeting. It might have been a priestly deanery meeting. I can't remember. Uh, but we were talking about social media and the like. And he said that the world today has become one big game of gotcha. Uh, pointing to someone when they mess up, judging them and pretending that you're better than them. Um, and that is, that is the power of the wicked, really. You know, the power to put down others. And in a way, you, you destroy a part of them spiritually when you do that. And Father Mike correctly stated that the game of gotcha is a game that you cannot win. It is a game with no winners, only losers. <laughs> the best that you can hope for is to not lose. To not have the spotlight shine on you and your dirty secrets, which you all have. None of us wants to end up on the front page, you know, for those sorts of reasons. So once you understand that, the game of gotcha is not a game that you can possibly win. That means that the only real pleasure there is to enjoy is the pleasure in the suffering and disgrace of others. To relish in their failure. I don't want to be that kind of person. And frankly, I don't want those kinds of people in my life. And I hope that's true for all of you as well. Because that's not happiness. We will never be happy or joyful as long as we fixate on the failures of others. That is the way of the foolish, the shallow, and the wicked. And those are the people that Jeremiah was praying to God about. Oh Lord, save me from these petty people and the terrors they bring. But unlike the near infinite voices out there who see problems but offer no real solutions, Christ offers solutions with very little concern about the actual problem. Fear no one. Speak the truth and have faith. That is the solution to a great many problems. I say it again. This is the key to happiness and the release from terror and fear. If you love truth in the heart and you love God above all things, because the bottom line truth is that we really are all amazing creatures made in the image of God, and we're all sinners and we're all going to mess up more often than we probably think. If we keep that promise of Christ alive in our souls and we nurture it daily in our daily lives, we will rise above the pettiness and terror that is sweeping the very face of the earth. It has for quite some time. Because those two bottom line things, we are amazing creatures made in the image of God, and we're all going to mess up from time to time. And the terrors that sweep the earth 
Forget one or both of those things. There are plenty of voices out there that assume that people are not amazing creatures, that they're low lives and terrible people that we should judge and, and ridicule. Or they pretend that they don't mess up and that the failures of others are free for ridicule. Both of those assumptions are wrong. We're amazing creatures, wonderful people, and we mess up all the time. <laughs> Sin and despair chain us to the ground and immobilize us. But the grace of God with Christ and the Holy Spirit lifts us up to heights that we can scarcely dream of. And all we really have to do is simply acknowledge him and see him for who he truly is.